it's time for us. Wow, why are we all the way over here? To go recruit that assassin. Back to Ilium we go. Oh, sounds fun. Let's see. Uh, we get to pick our squad uh, after this, so uh, who would you like to bring to just on our little walk to the mission? Doesn't have to be the same people. Um, it can be whoever you want. Uh, let's bring... Uh, let's bring... Uh, Morden and Tolly. Morden and Tolly. Nerds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yay! Okay, we can finally do this. Alright, would you like for us to become a destroyer? Ooh. With extra damage bonus to biotic powers, which I think is what I usually pick. Or, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I pick champion. Staying power lets you survive marathons in combat. Power recharge time um, goes, is, is lessened, which is great. Um, so, like, minus 15% versus minus 9%. Oh. Also, uh, we get a bonus to our biotic power duration. And our Paragon and Renegade go up. That's pretty cool. This yeah. one sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. As as much as I like to go boom, the, what, what, te what gets me with this is the Paragon Renegade scores. I could deal with the slower recharge time, but... I like having the bonus to reputation. Her. Yeah. Woohoo! Look, we went nice. up almost an entire bar from that. Oh my gosh, Furry. That's crazy. All right, girly. Um, let's. Yeah, just because we're here, we're going to max out your combat drone. <laughs> uh, so let's see. We can give her an attack drone. Um, or an explosive drone. Uh, combat drone, it's electric shot damages health, armor, and biotic barriers. Or uh, it's rigged to explode when it is destroyed. And it does high damage to all enemies. So just general higher damage, or do you want it to do the same damage but go boom when they destroy it? Ooh. Well, um... Yeah, you know, I think... It Let's do explosive drone. That sounds hey. fun. Hey, buddy. Let's uh, let's let's max your incinerate there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's max out your incinerate. Heavy incinerate. Uh, advanced plasma melts or burns anything it hits, or a blast Ooh. so that you might scorch more than one person. Hmm. So this Multiple is... target sounds kind of good. Yeah, so it's um, the radius more than doubles. It just does a little, it does less damage. Right. But we can do blast. That way, if he yeah, if he hits any if anybody's near the person that we hit, and we do go up against lots of groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Alrighty. Oh, that's a beautiful Paragon bar. Now we can take more Renegade without worrying. Um, <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Well, we're gonna get to pick all this stuff later, anyway. My sources oh. indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? Wow, what a, what a calm Krogan. <laughs> w yes, we did in fact send something to Mr. Thax. It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. So, what's Thax gonna do? What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing <laughs> she is to correct her mistake. Fair enough. It yeah. was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. God, what it what? That guy was so nice. Yeah, right? So nice. difficult to locate. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office over. We, we already we already did that. Thank you, Edie. We already did that. Thank you. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment. Oh my gosh. Please return your system 
That sounds terrifying. Right? What's going on? Oh my god! Please! Please! Too many! Too many things! Too much talking! Oh my god! Too many! Too much! I was trying to listen to the news. Oh god. Oh, there it is. The retcon. We get to experience it again. Uh. You should try it my way. Ooh. Look Ooh. at how the Ooh. wind Morden blows. has something to say about the vista. A sorry building structure resembles hive. Tall buildings filled with drones. Hmm. Curious, social dynamic. Many queens competing for hive leadership. Odd feelings around Asari. Unfamiliar. Reminders of old fertility contract negotiations. Wow, they even get to you, huh, Morden? <laughs> Where, no, did... Do you have anything flashier? I think... Yeah, we Don't already bought the stuff from says, here. I own this room. I own you. Navacorp has been implicated in a massive financial scandal with authorities investigating a number of trading irregularities. Oh no! Who would have ever thunk it? I did I go the wrong way? Yep, I did. Oh, but we can do this while we're here. Hello, slave we'll broker. Stop <laughs> worrying. Hi. Stop worrying. This is my life you're talking about. Uh -huh. You signed the indentured service contract. You gave over your responsibility to me. So don't worry. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Free your slave now! <laughs> uh, yeah, why don't you just walk away from this? I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured yeah. servant. And I oh, know gosh. that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced like, against Specific guy, I'm sorry! Do you know, that this quarry Do you know anything about human history? And her servitude That's right. contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. Get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. I don't know if I buy that! Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. What if we just freed her? What if I bought her myself? Right. I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. That's fair. If slavery's legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So, wait. Why not just keep Oh my god. You said she had technical <laughs> skills. Aquarian strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So, what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. Uh-huh. So slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude lasts- I, I love that Shepard just keeps me like, but it's slavery, though. <laughs> Contract or not. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use, and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. 
All right. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. I guess I'll really? step in. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Yep. You know it. All right. Let's see if we've got the uh, the points for this. So then he says, no, I'm not in this conversation anymore. Can I help <laughs> you with something? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. But this would be good business. <laughs> it sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry had better be good, though. Apparently she's great. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I totally forgot we had Tali with us, so we got extra lines. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. No problem. I'm happy to help. <laughs> Here, free of trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Convince somebody. Wow, that was the name of the fucking <laughs> quest. <laughs> Pick who you're gonna convince and how. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Really More than chill. Just ask her to move. To scalp, oh my god, a sorry plastic surgery. Oh gosh. Amazing. Oh my 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 hair tentacles are just so gangly. Oh. <laughs> this way. Oh my god. The blue suns are fucking advertising. <laughs> yeah, discipline. I was expecting like a job core ad. Right. That's what it sounded like. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, 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 Serena, we're back. We're back, girl. Ready to go find your assassin? Yep. I am now. Let's, Let's go. go. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower Two. Oh god, there's a moth in here. Go away, moth. Okay, so um, I don't again. I'm, I don't think there's there's really too much um, Garrus plus anybody really. Uh, let's... well, I haven't had enough of Morden yet. All right. All right. Um, let's switch. This maybe to black hole gun. Let's uh Garrus. Yeah, you got those. Morden. You got your tempest. Good, good. Alright. Ooh, fancy cutscene. The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So this assassin. You planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Let's see how it goes. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. So, what about this tower? Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. 
There's no automated defenses or traps. Just focus on anything moving. Take us in! All right, let's do this. Hold on. Not so covert drop in somebody's personal vehicle. Let's go. <laughs> right. Thanks for the ride, Serena. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Ooh. Good luck, Shepard. Oh no! Hello! Yeah, break that glass. Anybody else? Yep, you're still standing. Wow. Alright. Boom. Don't think you're standing anymore. Alright. Oh no! The porcelarians! Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? Boys, I need to know. Was that a bug? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over here? Ooh. Attack it. Heck. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um. Oh, lucky. Gimme, gimme. Nice. Gimme all the money. Yeah. Alright, boys. The lights on your armor look really cool right now, Garrus. I just have to tell you. <gasps> oh no! Help! He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Oh no! Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mech said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I can't get him here. Come on, come on, come on. That should ease I hate when you have to hit it twice. Alive until help arrives. Ooh. Thank you. It makes you nervous. That You're helps. like, no, no, come on, uh, do it, do it. <laughs> I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Man, Metagel's help awesome. Them. Yeah. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The Who would the not heal him? Finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the uh, the the yeah, jerks. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Got it. Yeah, people who just want free renegade points, probably. I guess. Rude. Nasana killed the wrong workers. To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friend. Co-workers slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Ugh. Brutal. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Bo wow, okay. <laughs> the prompt was still there for a second. <laughs> These are pretty. Yeah, it's a classic. You know, I need to do this. And. You do a little crowd. Just the thing to help. Yeah! Frozen! Boom! Oh. 
Boom. Get out of here. He's still around. There's a pupper. Bye bye. Give me ammo. Thank you. Ooh, hello? Because of shot red. Boom. Get out of here. Whoa, what just hit me? Oh, one of the Loki mechs was uh, falling around on the floor. That's what it was. Ah. <laughs> All the explosion did to get you. Whoops. I was hoping it would be cool. I'd hit the, hit the ceiling and then, yeah. Nope. Did work. Are you like hiding in this little side room? No? Okay. There we go. Yes! Thank you guys. Wow. Uh, oh, poor, poor mech. Didn't even stand a chance. I love Shockwave in this game. They they kind of nerf it in three though, unfortunately. Oh boy. But there's a trade off. Thank you, Garrus. Can't target them. Yes, you can. Boom. Bye. Make sure we got everything. Okay. Just came over there. There's that. There's over here. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. I've, I've in the past I've had a bug or two. I'm always, I'm always. Extra careful with my savies in this mission. Yeah, be too careful. Savy saves. Also, just making sure that I don't hey, miss him. I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. That that was a jump scare. <laughs> Hello? Oh hi. There you are. Girl, hi, you're still alive? Oh, you're a new one. Never mind. Bye-bye. systems engaged. Yeah? All your ammo. He 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 he. Wow. How about you do a little? Oh, you already did it. Never mind. I wasn't actually trying to hit you. Now I am. Bye bye. Alright, who's still shooting? Can't you? Yes, you can. Bye bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't mind us just breaking the game. It's fine. Everything's fine. You keep doing it before I ask you to. Uh, that's okay. Excuse me. They're like the they're like the uh, turrets and, from uh, Glados <laughs> fucking yeah. portal. Excuse me. Are you are you are you still there? Hello. All right. Before we touch that door. 
stuff. What's going on over here? What you hiding? Some power cells. Oh yeah, hacking. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, balls. Wasn't fast enough. With the deep pad. All right. And there we go. Get all the monies. Some of this stuff is expensive. Squeeze me, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna bypass this door. Syringe, syringe. Top ear. Wall. Did it. Let me in. <gasps> Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? Y yes, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. All right. Uh... How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. Thank you for the heads up. I need to get to Nisana's Those robot penthouse. dogs? What's yeah, robot way? dogs. Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. Interesting. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nisana's not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Wow, you can be like, you're a bunch of whiners. That sounds <laughs> miserable. Why not yeah, just quit? Right. We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Sus. Did you see mm -hmm. the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. All right, you guys should get out of here. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, secure locker, my ass. I got your your lunch money. <laughs> We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Thanks, Garrus. Might just cover. Yeah, that'd be that'd be cool if you guys actually got into some. Garrus, over, <laughs> over there. Yeah, there we go. Do your little incendiary thing, and you do that. Gonna get you, engineer. Bye. Bye, nerd. Thank you, Morty. I was just about to check. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Let's go, boys. Woo, up the tower we go. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. It... 
It should say something that we're s we never get used to Bluetooth. We have to put our hand to our ear. Turn around very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? I got it. I got an offer. Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right it's through tempting there. as it is. No. Right. It'll be all over you. You literally just shove him out the window. Oh gosh. End of story. I hope you can fly. <laughs> That's funny. Don't be stupid. Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. He owes you one. Anybody else would have killed him. Oh my god. Was that my gun just floating in the air for a second? What the fuck was that? <laughs> there was just a random gun floating in the air for a second. Legendary. Hashtag legendary edition. Right. Let's go. Hey, datapad. This storage disk holds a list of genetic information in for the Carosa family, that fucking Solarian that wouldn't shut up on his fucking call. We'll get you your data, buddy. We found it. It's all over the place. What do you mean? We've got reports of him on multiple levels. We think he's traveling through the ducts. I'm not paying you to think. Just find him now. Come on. She'll be throwing us to the dogs. Come on, guys, don't you want to come up to this lovely flammable material? Yeah, 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 come on over here. Come on over here. I want I don't want to blow you up or anything. Bye bye. Bye bye. This vanguard versus that vanguard. This vanguard wins. Nice. All right. Uh, wall, ear, syringe. Wall, ear, <laughs> syringe. Wall. There we go. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot. Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back. I'll do it. Please, don't make me do it. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to help you. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I uh, don't feel so. Oh. Helen. Oh. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the merc? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the door was locked. It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Helen was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, but no collateral damage. Very impressive. <laughs> Color Garrus impressed! He's super <laughs> right. into this. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. Okay. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse on the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. You anything about this guy? I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. 
Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. All right, you guys get out of here. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Talon, come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. Poor guy. Like... All of these poor Solarians are going to go home with severe PTSD. Right. They are never, they are never going to be completely okay without some help. Gimme. Gimme. 6,000 credits handed over. That Merc was rich. <laughs> nice. Wow, hang on. For funsies, can I can I do my? Oh, I have to. I have a random cooldown. Sure. Yes. I want to see if it flies at us. It didn't. What is going on? Uh, only in combat. Only when it matters. Only when it matters. That's right. Since I didn't get to do it before. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. A boomsies. I'll give you one, Nasana. It's about time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Viper sniper rifle. Let's go. You got a look at that. It's so pretty. You happy Ooh. now? Yeah, I bet he's happy. Karis loves his sniper rifle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can't reach the target. What is still shooting at me? Who is still shooting at me? Hmm. Who is over there? What was that? What was that maneuver? What was that? <laughs> You know what? You're right by that. Can't reach the target. Ma'am, she's right in front of you. We're good. Nice. Can change your loadout if you're not digging it. That's kind of nice. All right, I'm going to switch to. Let's see if we can get some use out of this, since we do keep picking up power cells. Hi guys, let's go. <laughs> Don't mind me. Wee! <laughs> that was so worth it. That was so worth it. Thank you, Garrus. That was definitely your kill. Right. Well, I was shooting at them. <laughs> this should slow them down. Can you give me? Oh, you can't. But you can give me an incinerate. Thank you. <laughs> the fucking the slow mo. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Bullet time is the best. All right. Woo. We can use this. Gimme. Um. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wow, this this mark's even richer. Twelve k. Gimme that. Wow. Not bad. We've been spotted. The son of pays well. I don't care what you do. Just don't mind me. Oh my god! <laughs> Martin's like, uh, <laughs> should I be worried? All right. 
There's somebody. Y'all, y'all take care of her because she apparently doesn't understand cover. Bye bye. Ow! I'm the one who doesn't understand cover. All right, let's see. Does this one just go? Oh, they're fucking friends. Nope, no, stay in cover. Get your health back. Can't get She's right there. Thank you. I'm sending you reinforcements. How are you? Whoa. Enemies on right. Jesus. Whoa. Y'all need to stop. Shotgun back. Do some shot ready. Focus fire on my target. That you didn't hit. Boom. Nice. Uh, you do that. You do that. Yeah. Don't worry about the drones, boys. Let's just get going. Yeah, let's go. Hi, Nasana. Been a while. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. <laughs> I fucking love him. that line. <laughs> you're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? Wow, you still think it's me. You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. How much, How much do you do have? have? <laughs> uh, no. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? Yeah, well, I met some of your, like, regular shift workers, and no. You kill people right. because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people because they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... What a badass. Whoa, interesting. Oops, Abe the fish man looking at <laughs> motherfucker. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well. 
Here I am. You, you expected me. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable <laughs> Bastard, no. I want you <laughs> on my team. Let's cut to the yeah, chase. I need you cool. for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. They told <laughs> me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. Yeah, yeah. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your <laughs> ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I'm sorry. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Thane is cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I like Thane a lot. The black eyes are really intense, you know? Mm. I fuck with a black eyeball on a rat, but then they're really big, you know? Even a seal is kind of intense, mm. you know? I mean? They do have pupils, they're just hard curios. to see. Sounds like you'll be an oh, asset right, to the okay. team. That is if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. Jacob, what's your I've problem? I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Yeah. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Oh, get your panties out of their twists there, Jacob. <laughs> so, um, speaking of panties, this is a weird, that's a weird way to uh, lead into that, but uh, say hello to your third romance option. Oh, really? Well, that's kind of... Yeah. The black eyes, man, it's a little weird, dude. I don't yeah. know if I can do it. Thane, Thane is cool. Um, when we when we talk to him some more, you will see you'll get a, like more close ups on him. You'll you'll see the pupils there. They are in there, but yeah. Okay, um, right, yeah. But uh, unfortunately, much like uh, so, just just uh, hashtag spoiler alert. Garrus is the only romance that is really able to continue. Ah, I see. Um, unfortunately, like Thane's does have a continuation, but it doesn't have the same level. So, okay, yeah. right. I I have I have done the Thane romance once. It's difficult to not, not to always do the Karis one. Have you? It makes me think because because he makes me he, he looks like uh, Abe the Fishman. The fish man. Um, it reminds me of Shape of Water. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that movie? No, I actually have never watched that movie. I know people really like it, but I've never. It's I've a really good movie. Watched it. Um. Funny? There's like a theme. Uh -huh. There's just like a, this. Little, there's like a little scene where, basically, like the main girl like hooked up with the fish guy or uh -huh, whatever. And uh -huh. She's like 
kind of telling her friend about it or whatever, and her friend is Commander, like, you so how does he, like, like, basically, like, how do you fuck a fish, dude? <laughs> and, um, and she does this, like, kind of, like, this little hand gesture to show how his dick, like, comes out, you know, or whatever, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> there is nothing more absolute than the Wow, you're one le you're one justified. mission behind, girl. We well getting on our but side. it's okay. I'm glad you're saying so them. Elegant and gorgeous. <laughs> Too bad her manner is just so cold. So, um Yeah, the um the it's it's funny. So yeah, he has that fishman look. The Drell are actually more like lizard people, which we'll learn more about. They're more they're more like lizard people. Is there anything That's cool. I should I know? Like that. You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious. Uh oh. Pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Nice chatting with you too. All right, let's uh let's go clear some some talkies on this level, and then uh, we'll go check on Grunt. Uh, hi, Kasumi. There you are. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> the Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Uh huh. Show off. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Indeed. I have to say. Oh no. That Jacob. Mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. <laughs> I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. <laughs> <laughs> Come back later. I'm sure I'll have. Yeah, more she's got a big crush on Jacob. Hey, we can go on life support. Hey, Thane! How's it going? Do you need something? Uh, let's talk about other things. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Um... Tell me, tell me about Drell, because we don't know shit at this point, and the Drell weren't in the first game. Right. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. Interesting. I know many think the Hanar huh. difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. You know soul names? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. They don't really talk, though, right? Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Dang, okay. Wow. Nice eyes. You seem religious, question mark? When you right. pray for the wicked. Who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. Interesting. Mm. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Let me just interrupt you for a second. <laughs> 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 right. My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what they've got. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> I forget what we get from this. Is a ship enhancement? Hey, more probes. Nice. All right, let's talk with you for real seas now. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. 
When we met you, you said, said you were dying. Just now. Yes. <laughs> I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. That sounds horrible. Can't they do yeah. something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Are you going to be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Duh. Yeah, goodness. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. So let's take a moment to learn something about the drow. Oh boy. Uh, Non-council races. Drell, 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 Drell are not in here. Secondary. Non-council races. Drell! Um, yeah. uh, do we want that or do we want Rakana? I think we might want Rakana. Let's see here. Planets and locations. Okay. Primary then? Ah! Free Rakana. The Drell homeworld of Rakana once teemed with life. Its arid plains home to spectacular insect and reptile analogs. But the Drell took to industrialization early and did not realize the extent of the environmental damage they caused until it was too late. With their topsoil depleted and oceans too acidic to sustain life, the Drell were situated for a massive population crash by 2025 CE. He means extinction it was then event. the Hanar <laughs> Right. Mounting a large-scale rescue operation to bring Drell to the Hanar homeworld, Kaje. As wars erupted over what resources remained on Rakana and billions began to die, approximately 375,000 Drell escaped in the Exodus. To repay wow. their debt, the Drell entered into an Like not even Hanar, half a mil. Called the Compact, it states that the Drell would assist the Hanar with tasks the Hanar cannot physically perform. Today, high-ranking Hanar are frequently inseparable from their Drell attendants. So, like, literally, wow. they destroyed their own planet, and the, the, the Hanar were the ones that stepped in and said, we're gonna try to save as many people as we can. Mm -hmm. And they only saved three hundred and seventy-five thousand. That's all. That's, that's all it, they could bring. That's all they could bring. And uh, it's basically implied that the rest of the Drell just, yeah, just kind of killed each other off and started fighting over what was left. And it was bad. Right. It was really bad. So there's not many Drell around. So that's their excuse for why they didn't exist in the first game. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Yes, Samara. <laughs> Shepard, I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. Yeah, let's have another conversation about your monastic I, I, order. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. <laughs> no, really, Shepard, just have a seat. We hold a unique place mm -hmm. in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us. 
and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. That sounds not great. <laughs> Why would anyone want yeah. to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar uh -huh. seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. <laughs> there is only the code. <laughs> wow. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. I forget, it like, does not exist to bring the code I tried to memorize a second ago. Its purpose is to punish the wicked right? and protect the innocent. <laughs> Alrighty. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. Boo. Wow. One brain cell. I told you, one brain cell. <laughs> what role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval... Oh, thanks for the, thanks for the metaphor. Perhaps a bit of samurai. Yeah, yeah just... You know, if you know about all these things? Like, what? I should go. That's such a Star Trek <laughs> moment. I'm it's like, hmm, if I could... If I could just if I could explain it to you in a way you could understand. It, I believe it might be something like, by your Earth author, Shakespeare? Yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah, what? yeah. No, I'm not kidding you. There is a, there is absolutely an author moment like that, a writer moment, where you're just like... Okay. What? <laughs> I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. Oh You're my gosh. <laughs> How do you put up with him? Shepard. You probably don't have anything, you? right? Have you got time to talk? I really need to oh, you, you dextrose. Maybe later. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Being all work oriented, not having conversations. <laughs> all right. Grunt, apparently you're pacing. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening down here? Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? No. <laughs> oh. Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles voices of warlords but this is a blood haze in my head i want control when we're moving fighting i focus but here my blood screams my plates itch and even you are just noise i'm tank born what is this well i mean we could ask edie i don't know edie would know right I think we need a crow in opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, a doctor is one thing they might know, but yeah, I mean, I think a crow in opinion is the best option here. I don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Junka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. No, 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 you, you, look, look, Grunt, I birthed you out of that tube. We're gonna go to Tachanka. <laughs> Joker can get us to the We'll Krogan take care of your pawn far or whatever. <laughs> your your Krogan sure. puberty, whatever's no happening here. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna fi figure out what's wrong with you. Hi. Thinking about past missions. <sighs> Got a minute. Yeah, unfortunately. Yep, yep. Bring it <laughs> on. 
One time we were trying to clear out this gun nest outside a base on Beta. Nothing we did even made a dent in that thing. Someone had the bright idea to kidnap a local girl, strap grenades on her, and make her go seduce the guy in the bunker. How? Thing, I tell you. Well, she went up there, knocked on the door, and nothing. Grenades never went off. But the guy stopped shooting, and we snuck by. Never found out what happened. Zaid, please. <laughs> that what? That's funny. <laughs> you smoke, Shepard? Don't. That stuff will kill you. Your kid <laughs> once, weapons dealer, probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. Tossed a butt, blew himself sky high. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> I should let you go. Yep, okay, bye. Bye, Surely goodbye. We will grand. have a, a good alternative to smoking in the future. Come on. Apparently not. Come on. All right, fishy. We're feeding ya. We're feeding ya. <laughs> Can hide the hammy. Yep, that's right. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that's right. That's what keeps us going. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. I'm not even gonna let you speak. Still alive from Detective Anaya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have uh, gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Anaya, Ilium Law Enforcement. Cool, okay. Thanks, cool. Anaya.